Okay, ladies and gentlemen, who here is ready for a little lo-fi Thor News Solar Science? I hope it's you, because that's what you're about to get. Because a tsunami typhoon hurricane Cat 7 has hit my personal life, so I do not have time at the moment to put in all the time, effort, and energy that I do to make one of the greatest videos on YouTube. So for now, you're just going to get me talking about the sun live. And we need to be careful of my ego, because I don't know if you heard about a week or two ago, President Barack Obama validated my three and a half years of solar science when I said, hey, y'all, the sun is acting weird. I'm worried about the sun, baby, which is like the thing right right about here. And then, um, let me see if I can do the clever stuff. Give me a second. The clever stuff takes time. Usually I edit it, but we do not have time. Okay, that is the cat hair of doom named by mike brown himself this is the sun baby this is occulting disc number two these are the boob hills and so that pretty much catches you up to speed i hope all right so well copy and paste science has been telling you solar activity is low for the last year or two or three i've been saying what the hell is your problem people solar activity is not low and as a matter of fact, how modern science rates solar activity is grossly oversimplified between sunspots and uh, solar flares. So, we've been seeing a lot of activity with the filaments. And personally, I think the filaments are basically like umbilical cords to the solar baby. Uh, I did a video a while back on the solar baby. Because um, you can see it on this camera. Where is it? This one, and then after I made my video, they took the thing down, you know? Uh, so, oh, this is great. This is sloppy. Who don't love sloppy solar science? I know you do, baby. Okay. And I might be acting a little weird. My girlfriend dumped me. Unfortunately, we won't be working together anymore. Breaks my heart, but hearts were made to be broken. But they're a muscle. They will repair themselves. So yeah, we're just sitting here looking at solar science, and it's going slow right now. I need it faster, baby. I need it faster. Okay, we're going to go faster. We're going faster. Well, la dee da So, yeah, we've had some coronal mass ejections. We've had some solar flares, unfortunately. I have not been able to keep up lately because, as I said, my personal life has been a bit of a disaster. But yeah, look at that. When did that happen? That crap happened about a week ago, or 10 days ago to be specific. A major coronal mass ejection fired out. What were those things on the screen? I do not know. Maybe you can tell me. They looked a bit unified. So, okay, now we're watching. And notice how now the cat hair of doom, like it's surrounded by, by what looks like dark matter or dark energy, but we can still see the cat hair of doom. And at times, the boob hills look like a, a projection image of the cat hair of doom backwards. Now, wonderful chaps like Daza and Astronomy Live used to correct me and say, hey, that's just a hair on the lens. But I think now, after years of watching this thing react and interact with the sun, it is definitely not a hair on the lens. kind of looks like a neutron star. I would say that seriously, but then my phone gets hacked and people mess with me. So I'm just going to say it kind of looks like it. I'm not saying it is. Oh, um, yeah. And then so the thing down here, this big lump that I remember the sun is just a white circle in the middle. Uh, that represents the sun. And they put the occulting disc over it so that you can see everything. Um, so things have been strange to, to say the least. But yeah, look at the sun, baby freaking out right now he's flipping out and the sun's wielding a double-handed lightsaber i think it's because we're he heading through a heavy solar maximum we're, we're heading through we're heading through a thick part of the interstellar cloud look at that boom boom the sun is firing off some solar flares cmes we just saw some weird crazy crap happen at the bottom you know like the sun has been active so I have been laughing at tears of joy and pain whenever 
copy and paste science keep saying oh my god the sun is so low in activity which it has not been so i want to thank president obama for passing the executive order on space weather because that basically verified my stance that the sun which causes space weather has been freaking out um so we're just taking a look and like i like to say when the sun freaks out earth weather freaks out and people freak out and because i'm going through a heartbreaking breakup i would be totally freaking out people so just be prepared for that okay i hope you can stay with me during these trying and tumultuous times I have nothing negative to say about my ex-girlfriend. She's beautiful. She's smart. And 2016 is a fucked up year, man. So it's hard enough to be in a relationship. But to be in a relationship in 2016 feels almost damn near impossible. You know what I'm saying? It's just too much negative energy flying at us all the time. I don't know what to tell you. Except I hope you are having much easier time with your relationship than I was. Because it's hard to make it through life alone, you know? I guess I'm just glad I got you guys. No, I'm definitely glad I got you guys. But yeah, so, as we can see, the, the sun looks kind of hairy. It looks like it's been rode hard and put up wet by its binary star. I don't know. Uh, they were just saying that planet nine is tilting the sun. It's six degrees. Uh, Sage and I made a video on that, but uh, fortunately, I guess I can't put it out now since we are no longer a tag team duo. Well, I guess I'll have to re-record another one. Yeah, something is interfering with our sun, and that's why I always laugh when solar science is like, hey, the sun is going to be around and the exact same as you remember it. For five billion years, they act like Nothing ever interacts with our sun, which we know is not true. Our sun interacts with its star field, that is, other stars, planets, and in-betweeners, which would be like brown dwarfs, red dwarfs, gray dwarfs, silver dwarfs. Yeah, look at the sun. We got filaments. The filaments have been the main action lately. Oh, yeah, and I want to talk to you about... uh. Ooh. Whoa, that black box. It always shows up. What does it want other than to hide important data? Okay, people. And now what we got going on here is a giant coronal hole. It's a colder part of the sun, if I understand it correctly. So this is going to be spewing solar wind at Earth through the week. So imagine weather to get kind of weird. Now, this is the better view of it, I think. But yeah, so the blue part, we don't want the sun to go all blue. Because if the sun goes all cold, that could end up in the mini ice age. So many YouTube channels like to talk about. But that is a giant coronal hole, people. That's what I'm here to... Whoa, the sun is freaking out. It's giving me Tourette's. Fuck, shiz, dang, pop, nuggets. Kick me in the ghost. Was that red? Man, see, I miss editing because I can do whatever I want. I can slow this shit down. I can, uh, I can take a look at all these strange, weird happenings that we're seeing in front of our eyes. Um, I guess I'll have to do it later, but I gotta get in a car and I gotta go back to Dallas. I'm in Houston right now. I gotta run some errands and stuff. And my whole life has been topsy-turvy turned upside down. You know, it's like, gosh dang it. Definitely don't make the best videos on YouTube if you want stability in your life. That's what I'm telling you, people. What is this one? Well, that, was, that was why I showed that. There's always a great site. It's called Artist Solar IMG. I will put the link in the description box. Yeah, look at that thing, man. <laughs> Hello. I'm crazy. I'm the solar hole. That, that is a big north polar coronal hole. The thing is gigantic enormous Anyway. I'm acting kind of freaky. I should probably get off before you all leave me. If everybody breaks up with me at once, that that would be heartbreaking. And did I mention I've got enough heartbreak as it is? Yeah, I did. 
I shouldn't repeat myself, especially not in live ones. Anyway, so we're just taking a look at the sun, and we're patting me on the back for getting uh, solar activity correct for the last three or four years. And I was disagreeing with 97% of the copy and paste scientists. Uh, I give a lot of props to Tamitha Scove. She's been walking the NASA line while telling us the truth at the same time. And speaking of that, they just did a we're out there hang out what's new in aerospace what's new in aerospace solar hazards and exploration that Tamitha spoke at I haven't had a chance to watch it all because what they're doing is they're celebrating stereo right stereo is the camera we were just watching here but if you go to the latest images you will remember that stereo B is broken busted no freaking data right and so I started watching this thing what's new in aerospace and they're talking about yay we're celebrating freaking stereos 10 years it's 10 year anniversary but at like 20 minutes in they hadn't mentioned the fact that stereo behind is broken if they really gave a crap about stereo behind they would replace it completely with a brand new 360 degree satellite stuff right you think and now they don't even mention it they're just saying oh my god yay space activity and we're so proud of obama for talking about it. see look stereo turns 10 and they don't mention, oh, yeah, half the thing is broken, you know? It's like, yeah, buddy, man, you should probably mention that. And then you should mention when you're going to replace the thing. It's like the Hubble. Hubble's been up for, what, 25, 26 years? They're not replacing it until 2018, asterisk. That's if it doesn't blow up on the rocket, the James Webb Space Telescope. So if you care so much about solar science, do something, man. Take that $18 billion you get a year and put $1 billion towards replacing stereo. And it wouldn't even cost that much money. Anywho, I'm going off the rails, so I should probably end this thing soon, as in now. But I just want to say God bless everybody. I will be back to normal as soon as possible. Probably going to make a bad move and put out a lo-fi weather video next, just because I, I feel like talking to somebody. I got nobody to talk to now, except for you people. Okay, so it's all internet hug and, you know, I don't know, what if I never get to kiss a pretty lady again I, I couldn't handle that you know i mean shoot what the heck why do i have to be addicted to the most beautiful woman on the planet and then they gotta be genius so it's like they gotta be the most beautiful woman on the planet and they gotta be a genius that's it's a pretty low pool and they gotta be single oh yeah and most importantly super attracted to me mm, okay i should leave now all right peace out god bless everyone everywhere i love you guys don't get down, man. The galaxy ain't going to save itself, but we are here. We are awesome. So don't let all the, like, down, negative people on YouTube and everywhere tell you that the world is ending soon, because it is not. Heroes will rise, as always. So we are amazing. Peace out.